This video is presented to you by www.testpreparder.com. Dear students, from this session, I will start the discussion of heat and thermodynamics. Heat and thermodynamics is an important section of physics from any exam point of view. It plays an important role in our daily life working. Dear students, heat in thermodynamics can be divided into five or six major parts. Here I have written heat and temperature, thermal expansion, calorimetry, kinetic theory of gases, laws of thermodynamics and heat transfer. Dear students, after studying this heat and thermodynamics, you will be able to answer many questions like Why are gaps left at the joints along the lengths of railway tracks? Students, you must have seen this many times. This is the wooden sleeper. This is rail track. This is the fish plate. And you see, this is the gap that I am talking about. You will be able to answer the question, why do we leave gaps along the lengths of railway track after studying heat and thermodynamics? Dear students, normally what happens when we supply heat to any substance, its temperature increases. But, but you must have seen someone boiling the water. If you supply heat to this boiling water, its temperature does not change. You will be able to answer this question after studying heat and thermodynamics. Another question, if you visit the sea beach, you will realize that wind reverses the direction after sunset. So, why does the wind at beach often reverse the direction after sunset? Another question that comes in our mind that in winter season, in winter season, when the surface of any lake gets frozen, then, then how do, how do animals live? Why do marine animals live deep inside the lake when the surface of lake freezes? This question also you will be able to answer after studying heat and thermodynamics. Students, as I told you that heat and thermodynamics can be divided into five or six major parts. First, I will talk about heat and temperature. Dear students, you must have heard about the terms heat and temperature. When we keep a hot body in a contact with a cold body, for example here, this is let us say hot body and this is cold body. When we keep hot body in contact with a cold body, then energy is transferred. Then energy is transferred from hot body to cold body. And one interesting fact here is there is no mechanical work is involved. Here particles are not transferred from hot body to cold body. Only energy is transferred. This transferred energy is called heat. So what is heat? Energy which is transferred from one body to another body without involving any mechanical work is called heat. Dear students, let me tell you one very important point here. When you say heat is transferred from hot body to 
cold body that does not mean that the internal energy of hot body is more than cold body for example consider two iron rods two iron rods one of let us say 5 kg and another iron rod let us say of 1 kg both the iron rods are kept in the same place now if i take this 5 kg iron rod and i heat this with the help of a flame for 30 minutes and now if i take this 1 kg rod and heat this with the same flame for 20 minutes now you tell me to which rod we have given more energy obviously uh, same flame we have used here 30 minutes of heating here 20 minutes of heating so in total we have given more energy to this 5 kg rod but if we keep these two rods in contact in contact then heat is transferred from this 1 kg rod to this 5 kg rod this 5 kg rod has got more internal energy as compared to this 1 kg rod but the heat is transferred from this 1 kg rod to this 5 kg rod what i want to say here is that it is not the internal energy of the body that decides the direction of the heat flow it is the degree of hotness or coldness of the body that decides the direction of the heat flow actually when you heat this 5 kg rod for 30 minutes and when you heat this 1 kg rod for 20 minutes although you have given less energy to this 1 kg rod but this is smaller than this 5 kg so this will be relatively more hot as compared to 5 kg rod and that is why when you keep the two rods in contact with each other the energy or heat is transferred from this 1 kg rod to this 5 kg rod so it is the degree of hotness and coldness of the body that decides the direction of the flow of heat and this characteristic is called temperature so how do we define this temperature it is the degree of hotness or coldness of the body dear students let me give you a gharelu example to understand this concept in an examination hall you enter and and you find a group of 10 students there you have five pens with you means you have four extra pens with you and that group of students has six pens although six is greater than five but they are in need of the pen so you can help them by giving your four extra pens so same here although the internal energy of this 5 kg rod is greater than this 1 kg rod but this 1 kg rod is relatively more hot than this 5 kg rod that is why energy is transferred from this 1 kg rod to 5 kg rod the concept is clear so heat flows from the body at higher temperature to body at lower temperature now if we keep two bodies in contact with each other let us say this and if i say there is no heat to transfer between these two bodies what conclusion we can draw from here that the two bodies have got same temperature same temperature and and then these two bodies we say are in thermal equilibrium 
thermal equilibrium so if i say the two bodies a and b the two bodies a and b are in thermal equilibrium means the two have the same temperature and bodies b and c are also in thermal equilibrium what conclusion we can draw from here that a and c will also be in thermal equilibrium a and b are in therm thermal equilibrium means they have the same temperature b and c are in thermal equilibrium means b and c have te same temperature and from here we can conclude that a and c will also be in thermal equilibrium means these two will have same temperature and this is called zeroth law of thermodynamics the law says if bodies a and b are in thermal equilibrium and bodies a and c are also in thermal equilibrium then bodies b and c will also be in thermal equilibrium means a and b have same temperature a and c have same temperature then b and c will also have same temperature this is zeroth law of thermodynamics dear students in the next video session i will talk about different measurements of temperature thank you this video is presented to you by www.testpreparder.com testpreparder.com provides free audio visual lectures of different subjects by expert faculties free online tests prepared by expert faculties to students who are preparing for engineering or medical entrance exams or planning to take exams like kvpy olympiad etc it provides a platform where students can interact with mentors to improve their performance in the exams the mission of this online medium is to help students to achieve their goals log on to www.testpreparder.com to watch free video lectures on different topics to download free revision notes to take free chapter wise online test progressive test and mock test to discuss doubts with mentors thank you for watching the video to stay up to date with the latest videos subscribe to our youtube channel like us on our facebook page test prep adda all the best